convert the following radian measures to degrees. Express them exactly if possible, otherwise express them accurate to three significant figures. So we have got 4 pi by 3 radians, minus 3 pi by 2 radians. If you wonder what minus means, it just means we go the other way. So if, if you think about the unit circle, it just means go uh, clockwise instead of anti-clockwise. Uh, 5 radians and 1.38 radians. And for part B, we need to do the opposite, convert the following degree measures to radians express them all exactly so 135 degrees minus 150 175 and uh, 10 right so if we start with a and the first one we've got 4 pi over 3 so i'm going to start with pi equals 180 pi radians equals 180 degrees and I'm thinking, can I turn pi into 4 pi by 3? Well, of course I can. I know that pi by 3, I'm just going to drop the radians. I'm getting a bit sick of writing it. Pi by 3 is going to be 180 divided by 3, which is 60. So 4 pi by 3 is going to be 4 times 60 equals 240 degrees. So that's the first one. <clears throat> Part 2 we have that minus 3 pi by 2, so I'm going to write pi equals 180. Uh, so pi by 2 is going to be 90. 3 pi by 2 is going to be 3 times 90, which is 270, which means that minus 3 pi by 2 is minus 270 degrees. Part 3 is a bit more tricky. so you've got five radians, so that isn't something that's going to fit nicely. Um, we know that one, uh, pi radians equals 180 degrees. So now you've got a choice. Well, do you kind of use a direct proportion approach or the same direct proportion approach that we've been using before? Or do we try and get some kind of conversion? Now, if you think, well, how do I turn pi into 180? Well, to turn pi into 1, you divide it by pi. And then to turn the 1 into 180, you times by 180. So if I take a number in radians, times it by 180 over pi, it will give me the corresponding um, angle in degrees. If I want to do the opposite, which I may use later, I can multiply by the reciprocal of that, which would be times by pi over 180. Not much room. So what I need to do is turn uh, radians into, uh, into degrees. So I need to take the number uh, 5 and times it by uh, 180 over pi. Five times one eighty over pi, and that is it. Wants it to three significant figures. That is two hundred eighty-six degrees. Okay, part four. One point three eight radians. Well, I definitely don't. Um, aren't going to be able to do that one exactly. So I'm just going to use this conversion factor. I'm going to say 1.38 times uh, pi over 180 times 180 over pi. And that equals... That gives me an answer, remember, three significant figures to of 79.1 degrees. Um, by the way, we're being asked for three significant figures here. It's quite common for angles, certainly degree angles, to you give them in one decimal place rather than three significant figures. It, it, it does depend. You could be asked to give it in any form, but well, those three significant figures is the sort of standard for a lot of things. For angles, it it does tend to be one decimal place. Right, let's go on to part B, where we need to um, turn degrees into radians. So the first one, 135 degrees. 
Well, we know that pi equals 180. So if we just use a bit of direct proportion, pi by 2 is going to be 90. And um, pi by 4 is going to be 45. So we want to get to 135. So if we take these two and add them, well, that will get us 135. So pi by 2 could be 2 pi by 4 plus 1 pi by 4 equals 3 pi by 4. Um, if you want to check that, just uh, take uh, 135 degrees and times it by pi over 180, it should get you to the same place. The second one, minus 150 degrees. Part one. Part two, the second one. Uh, minus 150 degrees. So we know 180 degrees equals pi. So 30 degrees is going to be pi by 6. Uh, 150 degrees is going to be uh, 5 times that. So 5 pi by 6. So minus 150 degrees will be minus 5 pi by 6 radians. For parts three and four, going to uh, use the, the calculator for different means. For parts three and four, I'm going to use our conversion factor, which is, is on the other board, so I'll just write it out again. Number 180 degrees equals pi radians. So if I want to turn um, degrees into radians, well, I can turn 180 into 1 by dividing it by 180, and then I can turn the 1 into pi by timesing it by pi. So if I divide by 180 and times by pi, it's the same as timesing by over 180. So this is the conversion factor that takes you from degrees to radians. So for part 3, the angle is 175 degrees, so we need 175 times pi over 180. And that gives us over 180. The answer it does give us a, a nice number which we could use. So I'm going to write that down 35 pi over 36, 35 pi over 36, or to um, Three significant figures, we just go and convert here, 3.05, 3.05 radians. Do the last one in the same manner, part four, the angle is 10 degrees, 10, so we need to times it by pi over 180. And that gives us pi over 18, but it also gives us uh, 0 0.175 radians. Okay, I'll put some boxes around the answers to be consistent. And that's it. So with your, just remember, pi. Uh, the pi radians is 180 degrees. You can get to most things using that, and you can use simple direct proportion to get this. If you, if you want to, if you can remember it, great. But otherwise, if you just remember this one fact, you should be able to do the conversions just by using a bit of proportional reasoning.